This is the Grillcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Will. And uh, we're going to do something different today, okay? Um, Wait a minute, we are? Yeah, we're going to remind people, hey, listen, okay, if you like our content, please remember to like this video, share it on social media, and comment down below. Also, subscribe to the podcast. We would love to have you here every day of the week, every week. Yes, we would. Anyways, so today is Synopsis Sunday. What do we do on Synopsis Sunday, Will? Basically, we do a quick look back on what we did the previous week, and we go over the videos that we did, the topics, um, how many views we had, uh, and we also look at the, our top comments for that week. And then we do a little bit of what's coming uh, the, the uh, you know next week, the upcoming week. Exactly. So, on last synopsis sunday no we're not gonna cover synopsis <laughs> sunday but we, we will say that we got uh about almost 30 views on that and i believe yep two comments and one of them was carl <laughs> <laughs> oh man i don't want to have you guys see behind the curtain here oh, oh no, no. That's, fine. that's fine you can see comments oh that that's even better i didn't mm-hmm. know you could pull up comments like that cool okay so none of the comments were uh <laughs> anybody except us yeah, all 30 views were, were us, so <laughs> okay. I look forward to watching this again. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hold on a second. I made a mistake, Will. What am I, I missing? All the time. What am I missing? Oh, no. You didn't have your hat on. I just thought you weren't rocking the beanie today. Maybe Tim, one day you'll have a PS4 uh, hat. Or gotta, gotta Tim Pool, Tim Pool it up here, Will. Gotta Tim <laughs> Pool it up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so on. Uh, I said. What did uh, we cover last week, Chris? I said uh, a lot, a lot. I said uh, a lot all last week. <laughs> no, our, uh, our guest last week was Billy Viz and Awesome, and he is an awesome dude. Y'all should check out. Yes. Like his channel out. His channel deserves a lot more views than it currently has. Um, mm-hmm. As far as that goes, though, so on Monday, what did we cover? We covered the GameCube turning 18 years old and the Wii U turning 17 years old. Yeah, I mostly cover the Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> the The GameCube is a great system. The Wii U is a great system. Both of them yes. under, undersold heavily. Um, and Will managed to snag a GameCube before it turned the... Uh, the age where you can no longer adopt things. <laughs> <laughs> I got it underage. <laughs> On Tuesday. Oh, let's talk about our top comment for that video real quick. Let's okay. see. We've got five comments. I like this top comment. This one makes me happy. <laughs> Zero reply. So we wait, likely spam. Oh, every time. I swear. Every time Vroom comments on our videos, it always says, oh, it's likely spam. Like, yeah, yeah, because he compliments us, so it's clearly not real. Yeah, so so he has like multiple comments every video, and it says it, it's likely spam again. Why does it keep saying it's? <sighs> Anyways, Vroom, you're not spam. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> Your comments are always very insightful, and we appreciate mm-hmm. them. Why is it still? Here, I'm gonna prove you first, then I'll prove him. Maybe that'll fix it. Anyways, so there we go. That got rid of it. Boom. Okay. Four minutes of us just fooling around with YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we like your comments, Vroom. They're really awesome. Um, but yes. the one that really stood out to me was this one. It's very long, so I'll read part of it. Awesome video, guys. One of the people that bought the Wii U two years before Breath of the Wild came out. And honestly, that was the only reason I bought it. Modified it a bit for emulators, as I do to all my consoles. But anyway, I didn't like a lot of Wii games out for the Wii U. Thought the original Wii had better titles, but still better titles than the Vita, which <laughs> were sold back immediately. <laughs> yep, that hurt you a little bit. <laughs> and my heart was crushed that I had to wait so long for Breath of the Wild to come out, and it was the last released Wii U game. As soon as I beat Breath of the Wild, which to me was the best single player game ever made, well, it's a good game, I do appreciate it, I right away sold back Wii U and purchased the Switch. <laughs> I must Man. be the only guy on earth that didn't like The Witcher, lol, but might try it now that I can't take it anywhere. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Um, yeah. I'm more likely to play a game portably than on a console, so I agree with yeah, that. I will say you are the only person who didn't like The Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh man. Anyways, appreciate the comments, Vroom. So yeah. shout that's out. also why I got a Wii U is for Breath of the Wild. Uh, the moment, the first trailer I saw for that uh, game, you know, blew me away. And then you know, the game itself didn't let me down. So it's a good game. I don't really is mm-hmm. not as good as Wind Waker. Um. <laughs> that's debatable. <laughs> Yeah, I will say, not that this is going to turn into a Zelda discussion, but Breath of the Wild is very different from the other Zelda games. Now oh, yeah. that I've experienced the other ones as well, very different. You're talking about a linear game versus an open world game, so... Yes, yes, totally different. Yes. Um, All right, so, Tuber Tuesday. Tuber Tuesday. Tuber Tuesday was a very exciting time for us on this podcast. Okay? Yes, it was. <laughs> uh, I definitely fanboyed out a little bit. <laughs> so, Tuber Tuesday, we covered... A YouTuber, um, Adam Korlick, been on the platform a long time, has over 100,000 subscribers. Well, our top comment, also our pinned comment for the week, all right, mm-hmm. when we when he made this comment, we had 65 subscribers, and then he put 66 asterisk, as in he's correcting us. We now have 66 subscribers. I'm assuming that means he subscribed to the podcast, so if you nah, did, he Adam, was just recording it and someone else joined. <laughs> if, if you did, Adam, I would love it if you commented on this video. That would be so yes. cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's that, that's our comment of the week. Yep, we're happy down. to have you. Hopefully our content <laughs> stays up to standard. Yes, agreed. <laughs> um, on, on Wednesday, uh, we covered the launch of the Wii U, or rather the failure at launch of the Wii U. Mm -hmm. And uh, Billy had some interesting takes on that. Um, Definitely go check out that video if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. We got seven comments. Probably the top comment for that video was Carl Lucas's, I think. Yeah. He said, to be honest, even after someone told me it was a new console, I still thought the Wii U was a controller. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) That's the top comment for this video. <laughs> and then... Uh, it basically tw- sums up the entire video. <laughs> it does. <laughs> so, then on Thursday, our friend Billy Viznason got married to his wife, Lindsay. Congratulations. Congratulations to Billy. Mm-hmm. Not so much to Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> and Lindsay. <laughs> I hope that the contract is written such that she doesn't have to call herself as awesome as well. <laughs> but uh, no, congrats to Billy and Lindsay. And uh, obviously top comment is the congrats comment, which is the only comment we got on that video. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but we did get a lot of good uh, remarks when I posted that to the Wii U subreddit. Um, and actually, because I had posted like five straight videos on the Wii U subreddit, they actually blocked my last <laughs> post. Stop spamming. <laughs> I can't explain that one because none of the all the other ones made it through except that one. Hmm. Oh, no, it was this one, Phantom Fridays. This one was fine, um, and it got like seventy five likes or something or upvotes. I was like, whoa, that's awesome. <laughs> nice. Um, and then on Phantom Fridays, we all recommended two Wii U games. So if you're looking yes. for some good games to pick up for your Wii U that you're gonna pick up this only Friday, listen to my my suggestions for Black Friday. Well, if all you want is Zelda, then sure. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so the top comment for this one goes to Vic Blanco Prods, who's been qu- kind of quiet lately. I haven't seen a new video from him in a little while, but he said, podcast still going strong. You guys deserve so much more recognition, but I'm sure it's coming soon. Yeah. Appreciate no wonder it. that's the uh, top comment. I agree with that wholeheartedly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's also the only comment that wasn't ours. Hey, hey, no one needs to know that part, Chris. This is just the top comment. Okay. So how did we do on views last week? Well, we got... Um, here, I'm going to do it on the calculator since the, the views have changed since I last calculated it. We got uh, 36 plus 56 plus 58 plus... This is now a math podcast. Plus 34 plus... This is addition, 29. kids. We got almost 300 views last week. Not bad. Nice. Mm-hmm. And our top video was the Tuber Tuesday covering Adam Korlick. So... Mm-hmm. It was a pretty solid week. All in all, go check those videos out if you haven't already. So what do we have coming up this week, Will? All right, so for Manic Monday, we're going to cover a very interesting topic, one that I'm kind of excited about, but also at the same time very disappointed about. (laughs) Uh, A new Half-Life game, but not really. (laughs) So although it is a new Half-Life game, it's not Half-Life 3 because Valve can't count the three. 
Um, <laughs> but it's a VR game, so we'll be covering that. And then for Tuber Tuesday, hold what? Up. what? Uh, you're gonna there's gonna be some very interesting information that I didn't share with Will before that episode, so he oh. may be he may be a little surprised about uh, that topic. Anyways. All right, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm more excited now. Yeah. Um, All right, so for Tuber Tuesday, we're going to cover someone that I personally really, really enjoy. And I, I think I found them through Chris, but I can't quite remember. Um, but Metal Jesus Rocks. Mm-hmm. So he covers a variety of content. He looks a little bit like Jesus. He has like a hard rock theme. It's awesome. Uh, and we'll be covering that. On so Tuesday. if uh, Metal Jesus watches that video, you should definitely comment on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we covering on Wednesday, Chris? On Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. What is Wednesday usually? It's Wild Card Wednesday. So it this is. week we're going to cover uh, Lucas Arts. We're going to cover the epic legacy that is mm-hmm. Lucas Arts prior to the Disney acquisition. And we're <laughs> going to talk a little bit about how how uh, soiled we are on the EA and Disney and all that <laughs> stuff. But yeah, mostly it's, positive. It's going to be a rant video, probably. Not going to mostly lie. mostly positive things. Hopefully. Oh, not on my end. <laughs> Chris can be positive. <laughs> I'm always And then I will balance it out. I will be the dark side of the force. He's going to be the light side. There's a reason why I'm the one that runs our social media. <laughs> yeah, so for, for, throwback, for Throwback Thursday, well, I'm going to let you give this one. Oh, we're talking about Halo 2. One of the, a, a game dear to my heart. One of my favorite games. It uh, turns 15. And uh, we're going to be talking about how much Will loves that game. And uh, it doesn't really matter what Chris feels about it. So no, we're gonna <laughs> stay talk tuned about, for my opinion. <laughs> we're going to talk about the legacy that is the launch of Halo yeah, 2 yes, and, yes. and how it has survived the test of time 15 years later. People are playing this HD anniversary remake of it. We're going to mm-hmm. really just dive into Halo 2 and all of its glory. Yes. So, and then for Phantom Fridays, we're going to kind of stick to a semi not really theme and just recommend LucasArts games and then I'm going to talk about a book that I recently started reading so all right stay tuned yeah stay tuned as always please remember to like comment on and share this video we really appreciate your support and subscribe to the channel if you really like our content so thanks as always I'm Chris I'm Will and we will see you on the next Krill cast.